In today's tutorial, I will show you how to set up a Next.js app with Superbase. To get started, the first thing we need to do is to set up a Superbase project. We can easily do that by clicking on this link. Just make sure you're already logged in. Type in a name for the project, type in your password, and then select your region. Then select Create New Project. Once your project is done being built, it should look like this. Going back to documentation, the next thing we want to do is to copy this SQL command into our SQL editor. Copy the code below by clicking this icon here. Go back to our project on the left hand side, click on SQL editor, paste in the code we just copied and click run. If everything worked correctly, you should now see this message saying success. Going back to the documentation, the next step is to create the actual Next.js app. We can easily do this by copying the command here, then switching over to our code editor. Before we paste the command into our terminal, just make sure you're running at least node version 18 or higher. Paste the command we just copied. Name the project whatever you would like. I'm going to enter a period so that it builds it in my current directory instead of creating a new project folder. This is what it should look like if everything ran successfully. Going back to the documentation, the next step is to update our environment variables. Before we do that, we just need to rename the .env file that was created for us. So instead of saying .example, it should say .local instead. Going back to our project, you can see the file here. So just make sure you name it correctly. So it should be .env.local. Going back to the documentation, make sure the correct project is being displayed here and if it is just copy this value we can use this value for the super base url that you see here so just make sure to paste it we can do the exact same thing for the second value just copy it here and then paste the value here and just make sure to save it going back to the documentation the next thing we need to do is to create a new file inside our app folder we will just create a new folder called notes and inside this folder, we will create a new file called page.tsx. We will copy the code here and paste it in. Now for the last step, we just need to run the command npm run dev. This will start the app. You should see this message saying that the app is ready. And if we go to localhost 3000 and we just let the app load, then if we go to the address bar and just type in backslash notes, you should now see these list of notes that we inserted earlier by running that SQL command. If we look at the database for this specific project, we will see all the notes that we see here. We can easily do that by going back to our project and clicking on table editor, then clicking on the table called notes. Here, you can see all the notes that we inserted earlier. So if we wanted to insert a new note, I can just click on insert row and just type in like test two and hit save. And now if I go back to our notes page and click refresh, we now see the new note that I just inserted. And that is the end of this tutorial. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please like the video and don't forget to subscribe for more content.